Hello, my lovely YouTubers. Welcome to the channel of a loquacious one. I hope everyone out there within the sound of my voice is just blessed and doing fine. I am the loquacious one, the one hitter quitter of affordable hauls. And I'm coming at you today with a haul from things I purchased from Dollar General. If you've been following me, you will know that I've been going to Family Dollar, Dollar Tree, Dollar General, uh, trying to hit them up for affordable um, items that I can get for Christmas. I'm not going to be purchasing too many decorations as stated before because I have a cumulative amount. So it's not necessary to spend money on that. And besides, I need another car. So that's going to be uh, my objective. But simply to celebrate the holidays, have a great time this year without going overboard i did buy a few just two cute little items but please believe me they were very affordable nothing nothing over five dollars is my uh limitations um so i'm just gonna celebrate the holiday with good libations great foods and um like i said anything special i want i really just don't know because I am so blessed that every day is just a gift to me. So I'm happy with that. And i like to invite everyone who's not a part of my YouTube family to tap that subscription bell. Smash that um, notification um, button. I'm sorry. I said bell. So tap the subscription button. Smash the notification bell. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the contents of this video. And if you're on social media and you know somebody who might be interested... Don't hesitate to invite them over to the Loquacious One channel. I would appreciate it very, very much. All right. I would also like to take this opportunity again to just thank my loyal subscribers who are always there. They're awesome. They always lend a kind word. And that is what is so encouraging to me. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's get started. I'm going to show you some of the things I got. Um, previously, I think I, I think I, uh, got something, maybe, did I do Dollar General? I think I do, did two videos, but anyway, it might be two, this might be the third one, but you would know I was hauling this Cut Your Own Christmas Tree Farm, Pine, Fir, Spruce, and Cedar with the red truck and the tree. I got the pot holder and, um, the oven mitt. And I was looking for this towel and I found it. I had to drive, uh, you know, to another little city that was relatively close. And I found it there. There were none to be found where I lived at. And I hit up like three of them, I believe. So the fourth one, I got this one and it was the only one. So I'm glad I just found it. I mean, they're not the most sturdy. They're just for decorative purposes. So I don't plan to really do anything seriously with this. And you might want to do a DIY if possible. Yeah, but I just got it because it matched the set. Now, if you're into DIY, and I told you I was going to do more DIYs, I did find this tapestry placement. It's a two count. It's higher than Dollar Tree's. It's $4. But it is this lovely fabric um, placemat that is shot with uh, Lurex thread, gold Lurex thread, but it has the red pickup truck with the Christmas trees in back. And I thought this was so lovely. So it's two of them for four dollars, and I'm going to make Christmas pillows out. Of them. Oh, oh, I'm knocking over stuff. Yeah, so that's going to be my Christmas DIY with these tapestry placemats because I didn't see uh, any other ones like at Dollar Tree or. You know, family dollar that I really, really like. So when I seen this design, I say that is the one. Okay. And I'm going to go from the back and start my way up. Make my way to the front. They have these lovely little gift boxes. Or you could just put stuff in there. It says hot cocoa served here. And I'm going to put uh, some of my little cocoa packets and stuff here. And put it on the counter. It was just $2.00. So it was inexpensive and I could just throw it on the counter. You can also use it for gift boxes. Say you want to give cookies or hot cocoa mixes or something like that. That would be the perfect thing for that. 
And this is just a little whimsical. It said, Fresh Pick Mistletoe Kisses for Free. And I thought that was so darling. And this was $1. They had a variety. They have the best selection of boxes. And they're very affordable. Uh, the only place I know that has the equal amount of boxes uh, of all our just general discount merchandiser is Big Lots. They tend to have a fair amount of, you know, nice boxes. But yeah, check out uh, Dollar General. You know, they generally get a good load in. And I found this this year. This is one of the decorations because in my kitchen, I do a kind of um, rustic type of Christmas decor. I use that buffalo plaid. This is what tied it in for me. And this says, Joy, Love, Peace, Believe in Christmas. And it has a star. I thought that was so cute, galvanized. Three dollars. You can't beat it. Cheaper than crafting, I say. That's why I don't do a lot of DIYs and crafting. Sometimes you can find, if you're lucky, something just as inexpensive. Unless you're just doing it because you enjoy doing it. But me, my DIYs are like DIYs. And look at this little stack wood block. It says Joy, J-O-Y. I thought that was so cute with the buffalo plaid. It says Hope and Believe. Look at the detail and all this. So rusted looking. And it too was $3. I thought that was awesome too. Okay, and we're gonna go over here. You know, I Dollar General just had the cutest, and in my opinion, out of all a Family Dollar, Dollar General, and what is the other one? Family Dollar, Dollar General, and Dollar Tree. Uh Dollar General had the best mugs. So I've hauled uh, a variety of them, which I showed you, including ones that were just as uh, buffalo plaid with gold metallic writing so check out my previous uh, videos I have those in there but look at this with the initial on it two bucks these make awesome gifts and stocking stuffers and what you could do uh, like for your uh, Christmas morning breakfast brunch or if you have hot cocoa and cookies and you're just looking at Christmas movie or listening to uh, Christmas music why not buy an initial mug for everyone in the family and just make that an event and you don't have to spend a lot of money and go out I think that is a great great idea and it's only two dollars now if you went to Crate and Barrel Anthropology and got this how much would it be folks really even if you went to TJ Marshall it would still cost more than two bucks I found for my craft and needs this was two dollars and it's 2.5 inches by nine feet this um, again it is the pickup truck the red pickup truck with the Christmas tree and this was the only row I found I'm telling you this is trending so hot I mean folks it is hard as I'll be get up to find it I mean I dug and just found one okay and I'm still looking for the little red pickup truck salt and pepper shaker set, I couldn't find that anywhere. So I'm hunting on, I'm hunting for that. And of course, I told you the red, the red truck Christmas tree uh, towel. Um, I only found one of those also. So this stuff is going, going, going. Okay, next uh, for home freshener environmental, I found this renews it. It's a gel freshener, and this one is in Sense Worlds renews it. Evergreen pine and holiday cheer, and it's one of the nicer smelling um, pine or tree scents fresheners. Again, if you're not familiar with my channel, when I do home and environmental scents, I tend to blend them uh, all within the same scent family, like berries, pines, citrus. I'll burn a variety. It might be an oil warmer, a wax melt, along with a candle, a gel, and maybe an environmental spray. Uh, or oil plug-in so I use a menage or it could be poopery I use a menage as I call it of uh, scents together to bring out a warm very prolific smell because I do use less expensive uh, environmental scents and fragrances so um, yeah with that it gives you just the right right um, uh, ambiance 
And also from a news that I found this since we're with sugar plum, snowflakes, and purple blossom. Because I'm I love berries. And my favorite scents around the hot holidays tend to be more fruity. Um, like the berries, you know, the purple berries, like the sugar plum frosted berries, as well as the mint type scents like the candy canes and peppermints. Those are my preference. My uh, my pines I'm very picky with. And um, yeah, those are my favorite scents, I would say. Next, I found these cute little candle jars. And these are good stocking stuffers. This one says Peace. It's a vanilla scented candle. And I think the jar is so cute. And this one is Joy. And it's in the scent of sugar cookies. And these are $1 a piece. They had other... The, the third one they had was Mary. It's red. I didn't get that one. I might go back and get it. I just didn't think about it or concentrated it on too too heavily. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here for now. These are um, by oh what is this? This is by J Candles. It's the Poinsettia Collection, New York. This is Candy Cane Swirl. I bought two more of these because I simply like the jars. They had about four different designs, three or four different designs, I believe. But I thought these were really, really cute. It says peace, love, joy, and believe. Also good uh, stocking stuffers for um, $1. So these are great. They don't carry them at Dollar Tree. But Dollar Tree does carry J candles that are made by the same people who make these. So check those out. And what else do we have here? We're going on into the home fragrances. But the reason I'm separating these because they're not necessarily with the um, Christmas. These are more like the fallish type uh, scents. But I got them because I just seen them. These are wax melts. And this is by Perfect Harvest. This one is in caramel corn. And it's just three in the pack. I got two of these. And this is caramel apple, which probably smells the same, but... It's in a different color, and it's in six of these, and it's $2. And I got one in Caramel Apple Strudel, and again, a different color. So I'm assuming these are supposed to smell different. They smell good in the package, but I can't say if they actually are the same. And I got this in Pumpkin Spice. It was one dollar and it's six cubes. And I okay. And I also got this one in pear cider. And it is six cubes. So yeah, a great amount of wax melts. And last but not least, I got this caramel apple fragrance room spray. And it was two dollars. And this smells good. I know because I sprayed this several times um, while I was setting up. So I really enjoy this. This smells nice. And for my big finale, let me bring up the star of the show. Because you know I like duping. You know how we all like the little dog that you see at Victoria's Secret. Well, I got this at Dollar General. It's a sequin animal plush. With reversible sequence, it was five dollars, and I didn't see. But this one, it was somebody just threw it back up on the shelf because it wasn't in the place it should have been. But isn't this too freaking cute? Look at this. This is darling. I like it better than the Victoria's Secret one. Ooh, ooh. beautiful colors. Look at that beautiful colors. Awesome five bucks so I don't know how much the one at Victoria's Secret runs but I know it runs so for five dollars hey I'm doing this one so that's it that's all for my little Dollar General haul the only thing that I am looking for now is the little salt and pepper shaker with the red truck salt and pepper shaker uh, which is about two dollars and that should be just about it. Um, they, I didn't see the red truck with the days of Christmas that you simply flip over. Little galvanized um, pieces of tabs with the numbers on it. 
that everybody saw on their five dollars. I hauled a, a red truck that was, I think, better than that. So I hauled that last year. It was five dollars. So I will not just be spending another five dollars for that. But that is available if you can find it. Those are some of the more popular items. That and the little Christmas uh, truck, the red Christmas truck with the Christmas tree for $2. I couldn't find those. I was looking for the buffalo plaid stocking with the red, with the white snowflake. I seen that. I think it was like three fifty dollars or something, but it was too thin. So I wasn't too happy with their stockings, but I have stockings, so I'm not at a bummer over that. You know, so you want to check out their mugs. In my other video, previous videos I had previous to this, I show you a variety of mugs they had that were awesome. I mean, for $2, you can't beat them. Everything was like, that I picked up was $2, a great deal. They have beautiful, beautiful boxes, just a ton of them. As well as, if you like the kind of rustic decorations, they had a variety of decorations, but they're uh, rustic ones. For 3 bucks, you can't beat them. Uh, they have a variety of candles and home scents, you know including Glade and Renews It and ribbons, all type of ribbons and um, don't forget to check out their textile and table and textile and table in it such as this red truck placement, two mats for $4 and I will be making my pillows and don't forget they got little plushies I thought were awesome $5 for reversible sequin what I call a dupe of the Victorian dog, it is just too too freaking cute all right, folks, that's it. That's all. Don't forget to leave any question, comments, or concern you have in the box below. Don't forget to tap the notification bar, tap that bell, thumbs up, and if you're on social media, please share. Till next time, this is the Loquacious One. Bye-bye.